For this tutorial, I'm going to be using a 10 millimeter crochet hook. This is a Susan Bates Crystallite hook, and I'm using Bernat Softy Chunky in Heather Gray. So for our crocodile stitch, we want to chain a multiple of six plus three. So we'll begin by making a slip knot. Put that on your hook. One two, three, four, five, six. Six plus three, one, two, three. So I have a total of 18 plus three is 21. Now in the third chain from the hook, one, two, three, we'll work a double crochet. Chain two. And now we'll skip the next two chains. So there's one, two. And in our next chain, we'll work two double crochet. So right now we're creating the base for our scales. chain two and then we skip two chains and then work two double crochet in the next chain so now I just want you to repeat this all the way along your chain so I'm coming to the end of my chain so you should have three chains left if you end up with a different amount then that means you've maybe done something wrong along the way so skip two, and in our last chain, we'll work two double crochets. Okay, so this is what you should have. So these are your clusters of two doubles, and this is the base, what we use for making our scales. So now this is, sort of unlike maybe any stitch you've worked, instead of going back across, <clears throat> we're actually turning and working our scales downwards. So the scales are worked from the bottom up. So if you're working on a project, instead of <clears throat> working from the bottom up this way, you're working from the bottom up. Your scales are gonna come down and you're gonna work your way up your project. <clears throat> okay so now to begin making our scale you want to turn your work so that you're looking at it this way we're going to chain three and that's going to count as our first double crochet and then we're working down this double crochet post okay so every scale you work around your two posts so now work four double crochet down this double crochet right here. So for every scale, you'll have five double crochet on one side and five double crochet on the other side. So one, two, three, four, five. And to make that point that we want, we're gonna chain one. Now you're gonna rotate your work so that we're working up our second post of this cluster, this double crochet. So this stitch is really about learning to rotate your work properly. One, two, three, four, five. 
So now our first row, our scale will be kind of apart a little bit, but that will tighten up as we get going through the pattern. So as you can see, we've made one scale. Our point is that chain one. Let's get it positioned right. So you can kind of see how this is going to look. So we're working the scales across, they're pointing downwards, and this is the bottom of our work. So let's get back to position. So as we finish this scale, we chain one. There'll be a chain one between every scale. Now looking back at our work here, we've worked those first two posts. Now these next two we want to skip. If we put another scale right here, it would be bunched up way too close together. As you can see, see how this folds over onto that? You wanna skip over and we're gonna work the next in the next post here, this next 2DC cluster. Okay, so now same as before, we begin looking at it this way and working down. So if you fold your work, just makes it easier to see what you're doing and work five double crochet. And now chain one because that's your point and rotate your work. So now that we're working up that second DC post to finish our scale. One, two, three, four, five. And chain one because between every scale we have a chain one. So now looking at our work again. You can see we're folding over that next set of posts. So we wanna skip over them and go to the next set and fold your work and begin working down. So for our crocodile stitch pattern, we will have a row that is our base and then we have a row of stitches. Once you get your five double crochet done, you chain one for your point and then you rotate your work so that you can work up the next. And if you ever get confused, just look back at your work. You want all of those crocodile stitches, your scales all pointing downwards. It really is a fun stitch to work up once you get the hang of it. So I've worked my five double crochets. I'll chain one and then I skip over the next. And as you can see, we're to the start, which is how we want to be ending. So we want to work down the double crochet, our five doubles, chain one, rotate and work up the chain. So I'm going to complete that and I'll meet you up again. Okay, so I've completed that scale and this is how it's looking right now. The scales don't look that great. They're kind of far apart. That's okay. This is just our starting. So now we're going to do another row of our bases to make our next row of scales. So what we're going to do is begin by chaining three. Chain three counts as a double, but we don't want, we want to offset our crocodile stitches. So now our double crochet is going to go in between our scale. So yarn over, go in between and make our double crochet. Now this is actually one of our clusters here. 
and then we'll chain two and we want to work the next one in between our scales but see underneath here see how we have this this is the chain one and then this is our cluster that we skipped we want to work over the chain one and in between there so that's going to secure that so that we're not having that loose piece and we'll work another double crochet so that's our next 2dc cluster and chain two so we're always chaining two between our two double crochets and then we work in between the scale and we just repeat this along so two double crochets chain two and then we're doing the same thing we're going over that chain one and in between the two dc in the row below so we're just repeating this along and we're going to end in the center of this scale okay so now this is what this is looking like so now when we look at this piece, we want to offset our scale. So we're going to put a scale here, a scale here, and a scale here. And I'll show you how we start and end to make that happen. So when we did our first row of scales, we worked down this, but we don't want to do that because it would put a scale right over top. So we're going to chain one, fold our work over, and start into this one. So work our five double crochet down the double crochet and then we'll chain one and we'll turn and rotate and work up. So I have five doubles, chain one, whoops, I'm just going to redo that, that didn't pull through right. So here's my fifth double, chain one, rotate my work and again you can always just go back and take a look at your work to see that we want these scales pointing downwards and that may help you remember how you're rotating okay so there's that scale so you can see now it's going in between these scales we chain one you're skipping over the set that's here because we don't want any scales going on top of each other and then we rotate our work so that we can work down that first double crochet of the next cluster So complete that scale, repeat this along to the next one, and then I'll meet you up. Okay, so I've worked up one, two, three scales, and now we have this piece at the end here. So what I want you to do is chain one, turn so that you're looking at the back of your work. So you can really see this big gappy space here. All you're gonna do is slip stitch into that chain space. And then you can turn back around and chain three. That counts as our first double. So now when we're thinking about our base, we want our bases coming back out here because we'll need them to make the scales. Because how this will be with this pattern is you'll do four, three, four, three, etc. So now in this first this space here you're going to do a double crochet that sets us up our base to have another scale right here chain two and then work two doubles in between the next scale chain two and then we're working over that chain one in between the 2dc to secure this here 
And now we're just repeating this along and I'll meet you up at the end. Okay, so I'm approaching the end here. Chain two. And you need to find that two double crochets right there because that's where we need to work our final two doubles because we need to get out to this corner to make our scale. Okay, so this is how it's looking. You should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two DC clusters. And now this row, we're gonna have a scale here, a scale here, a scale here, and a scale at the end. So this row, we're making four scales. So we'll begin by chaining three, working four double crochet down the double crochet post. This is definitely a more experienced stitch but I think that once you understand it and get going with it, it can work up really quickly and it can really add a lot of fun and texture to your projects. Okay, so things you need to remember, chaining one between every scale skipping over the next and working a scale in between. So I just want you to continue working across this row, making your scales, and I'll meet you up at the end again. Okay, so I've completed that row. And now we're just really looking at repeating what we've done. So now because we're on an outer scale, we're gonna chain three and we need to work into that center. We're not working two on the outside because that would increase. We're bringing it in because we need to do a scale here next time. And this is the piece that we slip stitch to and just chain two and work two DC. So this is just all a repeat now of what we've already done. So this is working it in rows without any increases. This is just gonna give you a square piece or a rectangular piece. But it's good to practice just knowing how to do this stitch without adding any increases or decreases. It's a good place to start. I have a new design coming out, out that will be more complicated because it will include increases. but it's really good to get a handle on just working this in rows without doing any of that first to really understand how this stitch is made and be comfortable with that. So now we end in the center of that scale and now looking at the piece again, we know we want only three scales for this row and they're going in between. So here, here, and here. So we're just repeating what I showed you. We need a, to chain one and fold our work to get over to this set of two. So now I'm gonna work a little bit more of it just off camera and then I'll meet you back up again.
Okay, so I finished this off by slip stitching here. As you can see that they don't look the best, what you wanna do is just finger block them. And you can do that by just flattening them and going into that chain one space and just pulling down. You could wet them as well and do this and even lay something over top of them to flatten them out. But you do wanna go back over your work and make sure that you block them all out so that they look nice. And you can just see what a difference that makes already just by pulling them down and flattening them out how nice the stitch looks